All right, bitches, back for more Dokkan Battle, Battle, Battle. All right, so check this. This is the most annoying shit in the world. All right, so we have a year-end celebration. Since my time in this game, this shit has gone crazy. There's been the 100 million download celebration, the 500 days celebration, the Christmas part one and two celebration, and now a year-end celebration. Like, goddamn, all of that in just three months. But it pisses me off because, oh, look. We get five training robots. How awesome. Let's click it and take a look at the news story on it. Guess what? There's none. The bastards. They tricked me. They tricked me. They haven't put out a news story for that yet. But I'm sure there's going to be um, a ton of interesting things in there. Including the... Remember how we've got the characters from the openings? You know, we got this bad boy from the Dragon Ball Super opening. We got this bad boy from the Dragon Ball opening. And then you from the GT opening. The Goku from the Dragon Ball Z opening is actually going to be coming out on uh, New Year's Eve. I'm not sure in what capacity, but it will be out. So, what I decided to do today also, um, we're going to record the Super Saiyan 3 Goku boss fight. Then, I'm immediately going to record uh, in a separate video the Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta boss fight. I'm saving the Kaioken Goku event uh, probably till after the Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta one for one reason. Um, so, today... I actually have six characters who we can doke on uh, because they did just bring back this event, the Great Saiyan event, which I know is one of the earliest events in the game because of the way it's spread out like this. Uh, I'll go over why it's actually spread out into different slots like that um, when we come back and actually record that. But okay, so there's actually not a ton of stuff we have to do. We do still have to record the Black Star Dragon Ball Saga. But that's still going to be around for like two weeks, so that's not that urgent. Uh, I still have to grind a lot of uh, those metal fruits, but I've got all the Awakening Medals. The Goku and uh, General Rildo are at uh, Super Attack 10, so I can Dokkan them. All right, so let's jump into it. We're going to Dokkan uh, three characters right now, and then we'll Dokkan three in the uh, Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta video. Now, the reason I haven't done Kaioken Blue Goku yet, the boss fight... Is because I want to test out this bad boy right here. Okay, go ahead and go to him. Oh, do I have to go to character list? God damn it. Okay, our, this is our base form of the LR Goku. Super attack max, level all the way up. Uh, so let's go ahead and Dokkan him now into his next form. Uh, I have enough medals for that. Well, blam. And I'm a completionist, perfectionist, whatever you say. So I made sure to grind one extra so I could have that in my inventory. Because I'm weird! Leave me alone! <laughs> all right. Uh, so this is actually our fifth transcended UR. That's crazy. I've only got five TURs, but I feel like I've got a pretty solid account. Oh, well, whatever. I haven't been playing very long. That's why. All right, bam. So now we have this Goku. This Goku is a beast. He's really strong. Obviously, he's not, um, you know, as good as LR Goku or anything because he still has to be Dokkan into him. But this bad boy will help a lot. I'm going to try this guy out against the Kaioken Blue Goku fight with our skinny Gotenks and uh, that whole team. See how that does. I have actually by now lost to Kaioken Blue Goku with my agility team a couple times, but I have grinded out uh, quite a few medals for that. But I also want to see how a uh, tech team would do, even though I don't have Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. Okay, so we got him, Dokkan. Now let's go ahead and Dokkan this bad boy with medals from the Super Saiyan 3 Goku event. Wablam. And now we have uh, Super Saiyan Angel Goku. Uh, this is the Goku that we fought in the Gogeta boss event. Bam! Look at that bad boy. He's okay. I mean, I've got his super attack max out, so he will hit kind of hard. But he's not the greatest ever. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at him real quick. Of course, once you doke on them, they become a completely new card, so they go back to level 1. Alright, so there he is. Uh, Angel Goku. I probably could make some use out of him. I don't like his passive very much. Rare chance of 180% attack. Yeah, when it goes off, he is going to hit really fucking hard. Especially the super attack at max. But rare chance, bro, that's like 20%. Like, hell no. I I'm just... I can't... I am already so unlucky in games with percentages and stuff. Think of Final Fantasy Tactics. I have the worst luck of all time in that game. But, you know, you just never give up. But the point the point of what I was trying to say is, I don't fuck with low percent chances like that because I never get them to activate. Uh, Alright, so now one more character we're going to awaken. Next time we're going to awaken uh, Rildo. 
we're gonna awaken our GT Goku, and we're gonna awaken uh, Gohan into Great Saiyan Man. So right now, let's go ahead and awaken our Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Now, this is actually a big deal, right? Oh yeah, here's another. Uh, the Angel Goku is not a transcended UR, I don't think. But this Super Saiyan 3 Goku is, so now I've got another TUR. This guy is actually really good. And he's able to use the Dragon Fist. Gotta love that. Okay. Uh, so let's take a look at the Super Saiyan 3 Goku. He actually will be really good for a while still. Uh, wait, where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Uh, because his passive, 80% to attack, that's really strong. And when HP is 30% or above, that's not hard to do either. So this Goku is really powerful. Um, yeah, he is a supreme damage dealer. That's pretty good. Obviously not immense, but those are mainly just for the god cards and a very select um, other few. Now, these uh, passives with the percentages are so much better than just like the flat numbers. Um... Who gets a flat number? This, doesn't this Gohan get a flat number? No, he gets a percent. God, that Gohan is so good. Attack 70% is so damn good. Who gets a flat number? I don't know. Uh, oh, Rildo does. Where's Rildo at? He's level 80. Uh, Rildo, there you are. Yeah, these characters right here that get that number, uh, there is a big difference between that and also, where's our Super Saiyan guy? When they perform, when performing a super attack, I think I'll probably go over a lot of that. Also, one last thing I want to just double check. Uh, can we awaken the Angel Goku? Because that would mean that he's not a TUR. Yes, he's not. Okay. So, yeah, this Goku, yeah, he's just a normal, you know, SSR, UR, whatever you want to say. Uh, and then this bad boy, we're still going to... Yeah, look at that. 777 medals. Good luck, fucker. That takes a long time to get that badass LR Goku. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into that Super Saiyan 3... Uh, Goku boss battle. I believe there is two stages to it, so I jabbered on for long enough. Let's get in there. Okay. Da, 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 da. So we're looking for surpassing all. There we go. And we'll go ahead and jump on the first stage. Limit break in Saiyan. Uh, let's just bring a 10 Super Vegito. We'll bring our A team here. Uh, let's see. What do we want to go with? Let's go by level. Let me get rid of it all. Okay, so we'll bring Vegito, Golden Frieza. So good, man. Um, do I want to bring? I, I like Wee Set Heal is great. Obviously, God Goku's really good. And then usually I like to bring like Goten and uh, Go Tanks. I think you know what I'm gonna try. We're gonna bring this Goku, and I am gonna bring our Go Tanks. Uh, I do like having a sealer. The only thing is that. I don't want to have two units that aren't agility. So I don't want to bring Gogeta, you know, and uh, we'll go that way. I don't want to bring Gogeta and Gotenks. Uh, just one of the two. Because Gotenks does link up pretty well with Vegito. So I probably could get his uh, super. Like, it, it, it's not that hard to get Gotenks' as super. It's not as easy as someone, like, say you know, Vegito or, you know, Goten or something like that. But as long as he's linked up with Vegito, those links will give him a lot of key. Because remember, since I'm rolling with a double Vegito squad, I don't, like, Gotenks is a physical type, so he's not actually getting any key from uh, our two Vegitos. All right, I peeped that our Golden Frieza was in the last spot there, so that does suck. Because Golden Frieza could be useful in this fight. Oh, but take a look at this. Uh, so by the way, Goku, no super attack for you. <laughs> and this Goku, I love this Goku right here so much. Him giving key to everyone is so solid. He'll definitely be a good uh, party member once we get the LR androids. The only thing is that right now his Dokkan Awakening is not available. Because uh, very, very soon I'll be able to earn medals in the uh, hero and villain event. To actually Dokkan that Goku into a TUR. And that's where he gets a lot better. He actually starts to hit kind of hard there. And he does have maxed out super attack as well. So that'll be pretty cool. Alright, so yeah. Obviously this is uh, not very difficult here. Uh, we are fighting a Super Saiyan 2 Goku, by the way. 
Uh, the Super Saiyan 2 Goku that we're fighting right now, he actually also Dokkan Awakens. Uh, I don't think it's available on Global right now, but it'll be coming soon. Like, all of these Gokus, they all Dokkan Awaken, and they all become beasts, man. All of them. Like, uh, there, I have... We have, uh, Super Saiyan 2 Agility Goku, who Dokkans, and at that, he is probably better than the Goku I'm using. Uh, because his passive, once he's Dokkan, will be, um, uh, what is it? What is it? It's plus three key to all allies when HP is 99% or below. That is incredible. So I probably will actually be using him over the starter Goku that I'm using. The only thing, I will have to test it out who does more damage because uh, our starter Goku, he actually has max super attack from those UR Gokus I farmed from the One Piece event. But I wasn't able to do that with the Super Saiyan 2 Goku we have because he's a Super Saiyan 2 Goku, not a Super Saiyan 1. Uh, the one I'm talking about, let me show him since I'm talking about him, right? Yeah, this guy. He'll get a Dokkan soon. And notice his, what his passive is. Key plus 3 and HP is 99% or below. When he Dokkans, it is for everyone. So that's really, really good. Uh, okay. So now let's go ahead and jump in. Yeah, this is a very, very easy fight right here. What? Yeah, this uh, that's the physical Super Saiyan 2 Goku right here. He also Dokkans. Like I said, all these Gokus, they all have awakenings. Uh, this fight does have a gimmick, but it's super, super easy for us to get through because we've got Vegito who breaks every single boss fight, basically. Any boss fight pre-Vegito is like bitch level now. <laughs> Only the stuff after Vegito is even going to challenge us. Even the Vegito fight itself is really not bad. Uh, no good shit over there, really. So I'll just grab key, fuck it. Uh, I have actually lost in this event probably more times than I've lost in any other event. Just because I've just been caught slipping on autopilot quite a few times. Because uh, this Goku, he hits for like 85,000 with his super. And I was grinding characters' levels up. So, you know, my HP was only around, like, 95,000 a lot of the time. So, if I got hit once and then wasn't paying attention and didn't use any items, I would instantly die. So, I have lost here a lot and wasted a lot of stamina. But it's all good. This fight is super easy. Oh, Golden Frieza-sama. There he is. All right, so we're just going to stick him there and completely nullify this damage. That is fine. Uh, cause Gotenks Sama is not getting any sort of super, so we'll just do that. Uh, Weiss can go ahead and do that. Uh, and let's have Frieza do that. Uh, so I love this Frieza, by the way. This was incredible to get him. He almost completely nullifies damage. It is so fucking- Oh, he's stunned, so I can't even show off- We can't even see- <laughs> Alright, great. Uh, yeah, and see, like, now we're, we're all set. Because now, every single turn, uh, we're either gonna have a Vegito, or we're gonna have our Golden Frieza, and this Goku is also done right here. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, well. Uh, I don't see any way he survives, uh, both Vegito and God Goku's attack. Oh, yeah, so, I was talking about the difference between, uh, the passives with percentages and the flat rate numbers and stuff. And the reason uh, this is coming up is because I was doing my research on the LR androids. Um, they get, I, I think it's 1,500 attack when their super attack is launched. I believe that's what the LR androids passive is. Which is not, it's not the worst. But the reason I read why like LR Goku's passive is better is because LR Goku's passive initiates at the start of a turn. Which is... Uh, his is attack 1,500, I believe, and then defense 3,000 when facing one enemy. And that activates at the start of the turn, which means, like, right here. Let's take a look at this. All right, so notice Gotenks. We link up, wabam. So the link gives us... What one was that? Uh, Super Saiyan we could just look at. Uh, that gives us attack 10%. Now, the reason LR Goku's passive is really good is because it activates at the start of the turn. So it goes in before the links take effect. Uh, uh, take, like, effect. So let's say LR Goku's normal attack is, like, 15,000. Then, he gets the 15,000 added 
from his passive before this percentage takes place, which is a really big deal and helps raise his power a lot. And that's why the LR androids aren't quite as good because their passive initiates when a super attack is launched. And what that means is that uh, Link skills won't activate into their like uh, attack boost. Also, I miscalculated. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna drop a Baba right here because this Goku would, well, he wouldn't have killed me, but we're gonna do that anyway. Uh, let's go with Whis right here. And let's do this. I might actually stun him. Actually, you know what? I just, that was a mistake. I really did not need to do that. Oh, I wish I could get Gotenks as super here. Oh, I'm an idiot. Wow, okay, see, I'm busy explaining about the LR androids and LR Goku and shit, and I'm, fu I'm fucking up. I'm not counting my orbs right. You know, I, I got my Golden Frieza placement wrong. Wow, yeah, see, that's a lot of damage, actually. Come on, Goku. Also, um, this Super Saiyan... There's two Super Saiyan 3 Gokus. Well, the Goku from Dragon Ball Z, because there's a couple Super Saiyan 3 Gokus from GT. Oh, oh perfect, right here. Uh, so we're going to completely nullify all of the damage Goku's capable of doing. Also... Uh, we only have 18 attacks to take down Goku before he one-hit or quitters us. That's also a thing that's going on in this fight. But it's not a big deal because Vegito... Again, we've seen what happens before. Vegito is about to fuck this up. Okay. So there's Golden Frieza's uh, passive. Very beautiful. What bam? Fuck you. Fuck, I was starting to say something before and I lost the train of thought. Damn it. That's why sometimes I almost need to like... Like, hold on. Slow down with the fight. Finish explaining what I was going to explain and then we're good. Well, I explained a lot of the LR Android shit and shenanigans. Whatever. All right, Goku, go ahead and blow this Goku away. Oh, yeah, yeah. So there's two Super Saiyan 3 Gokus. Um, one is a strength one, which we have and which we Dokkan just a little while ago. Uh, you know what? I'm actually going to just heal right here. Uh, well, wait. Yeah, you know what? Fuck it. I don't care. I have a lot of healing items. It, I could have just used an Ox King or whatever. Uh, this is just to play it safe. Vegito probably... Vegito will kill Goku if Goku uh, does a regular attack there. But he might use his Dragon Fist. Uh, and then, you know, the regular attack, you know, if we didn't finish him off. There's no reason to be reckless. I'll just play it safe, use an item, whatever. Now, the other Super Saiyan 3 Goku is an agility version. Now, his uh, passive, I actually think it's a lot worse than the Super Saiyan 3 Goku, the strength one that we have. Because uh, the Super Saiyan 3 Goku Agility version, his passive only lasts, I believe, seven turns. I think it's uh, attack... It's either 100% or 120% for, like, uh, seven or ten turns from, like, as soon as he first shows up on the battlefield. And that's not great in a lot of these later boss fights. Like, the Kaioken Goku, for example, you fight attack base form Goku... Then an Agility Super Saiyan Goku, then Agility Super Saiyan Blue Goku, and then Agility Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku. So it's just the fight lasts way longer than 7 or 10 turns. So by the time you're getting to the the, the key, the critical part of the fight, the passive is gone. So of the two, I definitely prefer the Super Saiyan 3 Goku we have. Except for the one thing that this Goku is strength. Obviously, I don't have Omega Shenron. He's not out yet. And I do have Agil the Super Vegito, the Agility God Leader. So if I had that Super Saiyan 3 Agility Goku, I certainly would fucking use him. But, okay. Uh, yeah, so I'll probably train up a lot of these guys. Uh, after we do the Vegito fights, I'm probably just going to say fuck it. I've got a lot of saved up training items. I'm just going to max this guy out using uh, some of this shit we've got. I'm probably not going to use the Candy Canes. I might just stick to the Turtle Shells. Like, look, I have 40 strength Turtle Shells. These give fucking 300,000 experience. What do the robots do? 50,000? Oh, so they're worse than the Z-Swords. Eh, what are these? 40,000. Oh, wow. So, yeah, they're worse than Z-Swords. But the Candy Canes are a million. Those are insane. Those you save for fucking LR characters. Absolutely. But, uh, alright, bitches. Next time, we're gonna do a couple more Dokkans, and we're gonna finish up that Vegeta boss battle. Later!